In this video, we're going to talk to you about the Elna Experience 530. The 530 gives you a lot of features in the computerized line. It is a scaled down model, meaning there's a few less stitches on this machine. But of the stitches that are built in are the 30 most popular stitches that you generally find. A lot of times we find machines that have hundreds and hundreds of stitches. We rarely use those. So Elna has you covered on this model with 30 of the most popular. All my computer controls are the same uh, here from all the experienced models. I can assess my uh, placard here, pull up the stitch that I want to sew. I can adjust my width here and the stitch length here. The computer board, the way it's laid out, I can fast forward through the computer board so I don't have to keep hitting the up arrow here and get to my different categories. The machine does have the top winding bobbin here. has the horizontal spool delivery as well as there is a place for a vertical spool pin. If I want to sew with a twin needle, I can do that on the 530. And the threading path is channeled all the way down to my needle. And I have a built-in needle threader here to thread that needle. I really like how the presser foot system is on this machine. It's a standard low shank, it's snap-on, and you have the extra high presser foot lift for your thicker fabrics. Here I have my seven-point feed dog system where there's seven places that the feed dogs are coming into contact with my fabric. For lighter weight materials, that's a plus to have to reduce puckering. And then for my heavier materials, having more surface area touching the fabric always makes a big difference. I have the top drop-in bobbin system right here. I can see my thread at any given time. I have much threads on the bobbin. The needle plate has all the markings on it so I can measure off from my needle and get guides. I also have a place that I can screw in a metal seam guide. Top of the machine is very slick so there's no places that my fabric's going to hang and I don't have to worry about that at all. I do have the adjustable pressure here that's pressing down onto the presser foot. So if I need to back that off for different fabrics, I'm able to do that. And then there's a little razor on the side of the machine to snip my threads when I come off the back of my delivery. I have the needle up, needle down feature here so I can set the machine to stop needle in the garment or set to stop out of the garment. I can override the speed of my foot control. Now this machine does come with a foot control or you can use the start stop button that's built in. And here's my traditional reverse. And I have the auto lock setting. Now push this button here. It's going to tie off the stitch underneath for me. So my back tag is actually underneath and hidden. And the stitch is not going to come out. I do have the removable accessory tray to expose the free arm for my pant legs, shirt sleeves, and hemming, things of that nature. This machine does have a drop feed lever. It's located on the back side of the machine here. So I can drop those feed dogs if I'm needing to darn a hole or put on a button. Or for you quilters, if I'm doing free motion stippling or free motion embroidery, I'm capable of doing that with this machine. Because of the top drop-in bobbin system and the larger motor on the 530, this machine can handle a wide range of materials from extremely lightweight to heavier fabric. I've got the start-stop button on the machine, so if I don't want to use the foot control, I don't have to. I can override the speed of that machine at any given time. When I get to the end of my seam, I can tie that stitch off so the back tack is hidden underneath the fabric. And I have the little razor on the side of the machine. Those of you who want to know about the durability of this machine, it has the same size motor as the other experienced models, so it's going to be able to handle heavy material and having the high lift under the presser foot here. I can get my presser foot where I need to for sewing thicker materials. And the tension system on this machine, I'm not going to have to worry about having to adjust tensions on it at all. I can go from extremely heavy down to this stretch material right here, and the machine's not going to bog down on me. I'm not going to have to worry about looping. I'm not going to have to worry about the machine puckering the fabric or anything of that nature because of that seven-point feed dog system that's on it. When I get to the end of that seam, I can tie that off. Nice and neat. Don't have to get my scissors out to clip that thread, and there you go. This is a brief overview of the 530. We have a lot more information on the website. We'll be glad to compare this to similar models that we have. Feel free to call us. After you purchase from us, you have us for the life you own your machine. I have four technicians at our store. We have several educators that can help you with any kind of question you have, whether it's how to operate the machine, or how to use a presser foot. We're not just an internet company or a mail order company. We have a full retail store. 
So we have all these models on the sales floor. We can compare these for you and find the machine that's going to be right for you. So by all means, give us a call or check out our website anytime.